Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. <laughs> this is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV. I don't even know. What's happened to your face? It's like you've done 12 rounds with Wilder. What's, what, what's happened? What, with my red eye? Yeah, I've got, I've got, I don't know. It's like, I think I need glasses. Still handsome, though, to be fair. Um, how are you? I'm all right. How are you, first Absol of all? I'm absolute. I mean, as I said to you, you just heard me say, in terms of my boxing career, my professional you know, work career, this is probably the best I've ever felt because the energy that I have inside, I feel like I've got a new lease of life. And this card that we've just announced, June the 1st, six pure 50-50 fights, headlined by Bivo against Betterbeard, the best night of boxing I've ever seen, and the 5v5, where Matchroom are going to be triumphant. I can't wait. Great bunch of lads. What a night. Do you remember a few weeks ago when I gave you some rumours and you was like, Because oh. uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that fair, I, like, I was the first one to mention that Wilder and Zhang fight to you. You were. Yes. And when you said it, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so, um, just on that, um, it's very difficult to keep um, everything a secret, stuff like that, you know? And it's a bit of a shame that we had to wait so long for the presser because we wanted uh, Turkey Al Sheikh to be in London this is when he was coming to London. But obviously a lot of people knew the lineup today, but imagine if no one had a clue and they were all wearing masks. Like literally you go, I've no idea who it is. That's what we'll do next. Um, I can't wait, massive night ahead. It's gonna be, gonna be a great show. Run me through the fights, like I said, a lot of them were rumoured, a lot of them obviously did come up. Let's start off with uh, Ray Ford and Nick Ball. I mean, I really You gave away as no, well. No, I didn't, didn't I? Everyone's wearing a mask. I went, you know, you've got Nick Ball down there. I mean, what I don't know what I was doing, but um, I'm a big fan of Nick Ball. I think he should be WBC world champion. I thought he was robbed out in Riyadh. Unfortunately for him, Ray Ford is the best 126 pounder in the world. Um, it's a brilliant style matchup. Um, and I believe Ray Ford will break him down and stop him, as he did Oleg Komatov. Um, great fight. You know, probably the, the smallest profile fight on the card is one of my favourites, which is Craig Richards against Willie Hutchinson. Brilliant kind of European, fringe world level, light heavyweight matchup, pure 50-50 fight. Ammo Williams against Hamza Shiraz. Shiraz is Queensbury's captain. They really fancy <coughs> Shiraz, you know. And Ammo's in a great fight there. The winner's going to go on and fight for the WBC world title. Philip Hergovic against Daniel Dubois, what a fight. I really fancy Philip strongly in that fight, but I like Daniel, he's a good fighter. And our boy Deontay Wilder, who's coming back to destroy against Ile Zhang. Inside five rounds, he will stop him. Has he been like forced to work with you? Because there's no way he likes you. He does. Have you not seen We are besties, literally besties. And um, I've always liked Deontay Wilder, but obviously <laughs> we've always had the rivalry through AJ. And when His Excellency picked the heavyweight division, he said I could go and sign any heavyweight. Well, I looked at those available. Who is the best heavyweight out there available? Who's the most dangerous heavyweight? Who's going to bounce back in style? I believe Deontay Wilder. I've made him my captain for the night. And um, who knows where it will lead for us. But all we've got to do is go through Zile Zang. And you believe they will knock him out in five Inside rounds? Five rounds. Inside five rounds. Are you giving your fighters a, a, a knockout incentive? Maybe. We'll see. I used to do with price fire. We used to give them like 500 quid if they knocked them out. Yeah, I'll do that, definitely. Um, can you just talk people through the, the points system, yep. how it works? One point for victory, two points for a stoppage. Captain's pick is doubled. So when Deontay Wilder knocks out Zile Zhang, four points. Okay. And what do you actually win? Like, no one's really asked, what do you win apart from just saying, right, oh, what? Here. What do you win? No, do you get right. something? Like yeah, you do. The governor of the promotional world. No, that's just a title that you're giving yourself. No, I'm saying, do you get like a trophy yeah, of course. or it be a, trophy, a golden boot but, but or you something? Get something more? You get bragging rights, right. you know? So I'll say, all right, Frankie, how's a 5 0 getting on, boy? Uh, that, that's horrible, you know? Likewise, if he goes to me, all right, Ed, fucking not in the same league, boy. Not nice. Um, the promo is, is generally probably the best promo, and they what get you, better. Now, now, now. You know, speaking to uh, an actor. Former actor, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know if you won an Oscar, but I've saw, I saw you in EastEnders. I thought you were unbelievable. Especially when you're in the background of the market in Albert Square. And you went... I mean, that was one of the best walk-bys I've ever seen. 
Um, what do you think of my acting? I thought you were just being you. Yeah, so I don't know work. what it is. It kind of works. Very obviously Guy Ritchie esque. Do, yeah. do you think I might get I might get something out of this? Like what? Like a major Hollywood part. Like what sort of part? What sort of character? Can do anything. I can do the lock stock stuff that you've just seen. Yeah. You know, I could be the more quintessential gentleman, yeah. like Chris Eubank. Um, I can I can do it all, mate. I could be an athlete, obviously. Um, I could be James Bond. I could literally... I'm so versatile as an actor. I think we've seen that now. I think your best bet is just to play yourself. Yeah. No, but I do. I, I think... Who would play you in the film, though? Oh, someone average. Maybe, like... Be uh, serious. Don't start reeling off, like, fucking George Clooney and that. No, obviously. George Clooney, Piers Brosnan, um, Ryan Reynolds... Um, Jack Black. Brad, Brad, Brad Pitt, but he's getting on a little bit. Um, yeah. Seth Rogen. All right, mate. He's a great actor. Mate, yeah, I know. They're fantastic actors, but obviously you've got to get the looks, you know. Do you know what? I was watching that promo, yeah, and everyone was actually quite good in it. You know, like yeah, Nick Ball was yeah, smashing yeah. someone up, Daniel DeVos was throwing someone through a... Mm. Was everyone given, well, like, little... Like, I feel like the fighters have great personalities. The fighters know how to be in front of the cameras. They're athletic, they look good. And, you know, who knows what's going to happen post-career, but they've all had such a great time. Like, to see Craig and to see Ray and Ammo fly out to Bulgaria on a Hollywood film set and do it, it's brilliant for them. And um, thank you. Thank you, His Excellency. Um, let's talk about uh, Better Beer and Bivol. A little dig at Todd, Todd Buff up there, just, just no. <laughs> I went under the radar a little. Do you know what it was? I was looking at him here, and I was off on one, and I was like, "Yeah, and we're gonna smash the Queensbury old Frankie boy." And then, it, and I'm looking at Todd, and he's going like this, and I'm thinking, "I know exactly what is in your head, which is I cannot stand this geezer." Like, and I like Todd. I don't, I'd have no, but I don't think he really likes me. I'm not saying like he hates me, but I think he just looks at me and goes, "I don't like." Oh, prick, yeah. yeah. And, oh, that's a bit strong. And I looked at him, and I was just mid-flow, right? And I was like, yeah, and when we, I said, because I see you, Todd, you can't stand me either, look at you. And he just went, what the fuck? But he knew what I was seeing. And, yeah, I don't, I'm not Better Behave's biggest fan. I've got to be honest with you, and I'm not, I like Mark Ramsey, right? But I'm not, I had a big argument, nearly had a punch-up in the ring with his team after the Callum Smith fight. Because obviously, so who had the punch up? Sorry, you did. Yeah, with some one of his. Um, well, firstly, his fitness trainer came over, who is about I don't know seventy odd, some Russian geezer, absolute brute, came over to me. He's quite old, but he came over to me. He's like, because you know there was the atypical finding, right? So I was getting into him all week, and they didn't like it. So the big unit comes up to me, the Russian, and he goes, "Yes, good fight, good fight." Like that, just literally crushed my bicep, which is a massive achievement because you've seen the size of them these days. So I looked at him and I thought, you're 70. Firstly, I think you'd crush me. Secondly, if you did, how embarrassing to get crushed by a 70-year-old. Then some other geezer come over from the corner and went, yeah, you got a lot to say for yourself. And I looked at the two of them and I thought, Russian monster, mm, half a chance against you. So me and this geezer were going at it. He'll be there in, in Riyadh. And he was like, you said this, you said that. And then Beefy was behind me, he was piping up. And then I turned around and Beefy had to go back to the change room. And I was in the ring on my own with a few of them. I slipped a shot, bang, left hook, <laughs> laid him out. For, next thing you know, there's three on the floor. Oh, no, that was the promo. Um, yeah. I was just free to be... I thought it was a language barrier, but I just found him a little bit arrogant. Did you? Well, you're not going to say, because you, you just like... I'm not going to say that, am I? Like, I said to Dimitri after the fight, after the, I said he's a bit arrogant. He just smash him up. Are you talking about the other games? You're talking about no, I'm better beer. Better beer. I thought he was a little bit arrogant today. Right. Don't tell me. Tell him. Call him out. Call better beer out. God, you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, talk a good game, right. boy, don't I? Eddie. Yeah. Is this the card then? Six fights. That's yeah, it. Mate. No, hold on. Six fights. That's I it. I don't know. There, there could be some. Oh, pre see? Yeah. yeah. I heard a all we get. I, I heard a rumour about another fight on there. But actually, I, no, I, don't, I don't want to say it. Just in case I'm right, they're going to annoy people. Don't worry. But I heard about another little fight on there. Um, yes. Yes. Oh, my 
I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Why doesn't... Yeah, a quick one, because obviously there's people waiting to... Yeah. Do you know you categorically come out and said... I would have known then. In 2013... At a pre- pre-fight press conference, you come out and say, "Are you listening or not?" Yeah, this is arrogant. It's all about better be being arrogant. I mean, what? Oh, look, can I see what you're doing quickly? Look at pictures. He's looking at pictures of himself. Oh, you absolute look. moron. Texting after. I just texted. I didn't mean it. I went. I'm really sorry. I said literally. They they really took it the wrong way. Yeah. Right. So September second, 2013. You stated. Do you remember this? Stated a lot. I'm, really, I'm joking, I'm oh, joking. No, no, hold on. Great banter. You have stated, in your opinion, that Anthony Joshua will fight for a world title or undisputed. Yeah. No one from Team Fury seems to share that sentiment. The, the, the world championship thing doesn't really have anything to do with it. The, the IBF have ruled that the winner of Fury Usyk has to fight Filip Hergovic. Right? after May the 18th. They can't do that because they're contracted for a second fight. So the IBF title will become available. So AJ is the next available in line. Now, Hergovic is fighting Dubois. So maybe that's for the IBF title. And if they do fight, then maybe AJ fights the winner. But I believe that AJ will fight, and I say for the IBF world title or for the undisputed championship next. Do you know that... Anthony Joshua has a chance to become a three-time world heavyweight champion. Of course we do. Do you know how many people have been a three-time world heavyweight champion? What, in Britain? Of all time. In the history of the sport. I'm sure you're going to educate us. Does anyone know in this room how many times there has been a three-time world heavyweight champion in the history of the sport? Zero. Zero. Twice. What's the point in you saying twice, Parsons? You, you literally know nothing about boxing. So who were the, the who were them? Right. Anyway, do you know? Twice. One. It was Muhammad Ali. Right. So when AJ becomes three-time world champion, he'll be only the second person to do it after Muhammad Ali. That is quite a good stat to me. Thank fair. you very much. I don't know if it's true. It's like fucking sand in the It is true. It is true. You can clip now. Whoever you no, do. 100%. 100%. The clickbait. Um, but listen, it's June the 1st. It's on it's two on. weeks after Furious. I mean, them, them two weeks are going to be absolutely Unbelievable. We should amazing. celebrate life as a fight fan. The good times are here. Thank you, His Excellency. Thank you, Matrim. Thank you, Queensbury. Thank you, Spencer Brown. Have you got any purse bids coming up? I don't think so, no. Oh, Jeron Ennis. Uh, next week. Great signing, I know that's already been spoken about. Thank you, thank you. Um, wait there. Just to the lens, if you could. You're in one of their moods, so I thought I'd get you. So, take that. Tell Warren what you're going to do, sir. Frankie, baby. Listen, we haven't always got on over the years, but I do respect you. You are a great operator, great survivor. But unfortunately, the young gun is in town. And that's me, young gun at 44. Five nil, five by way of in Riyadh, the 5v5, Queensbury River Matchroom, only one winner. And it goes a little bit something like this. Ray Ford, 126 pounds against Nick Ball. School him, expose him, stop him late in the fight. Craig Richards against Willie Hutchinson. It's a little bit of a ding dong, but Craig with a long jab and a big right hand stops him late in the fight. Deontay Wilder is back in destructive mode. He will take out Zile Zhang in within five rounds. Philip Hergovic will school, break the heart of, and stop Daniel Dubois within nine rounds. And I know you love Hamza Shiraz because you made him your captain. But Ammo Williams is coming, baby, for the stoppage in the WBC middleweight title. It's 5 0 matchroom, 5 by way of KO. We'll see you in Riyadh. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. <laughs>